Yo, what is up? What's been happening? Welcome back to another episode of Those Car Dudes. So as we can see, Nathan is ready to drive the car, but is not quite ready yet. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to spend some time fixing it up, last bits and pieces. What are we doing, Brad? We're going to be putting an LSD in it, finally. And um, we'll see where we get to after that. Maybe the rear braided brake lines. But apart from that, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Nathan, any comments? Good one. So Brad bought a new car. Brad, run us through. What are you? What are you doing? I'm just tightening the badge. So it's an E36, of course, and um, it's a 325. It was imported from the UK and it's got an LSD. It was actually made for the police, undercover cop car. So I'm gonna yeah. feel the made, isn't that right? Yep. Yep. Wow. Very cool. Paint very faded, but hey, it's a three to five. It has an LSD, and the LSD is going in to the truck car. Hey Nathan, what are some of the essential tools needed in order to do a diff swap on an E36? The first thing you need to do is check out the link in the description where I show you how to change the differential on your E36. The second thing you need to do is have an E36. So Brad has already started, um, well he's basically done most of it, getting the diff um, unbolted and everything. So we just basically got to pull this one out of the track car. And then we're going to be starting from the beginning with the red one over there and they're going to pull it out of that one and then hopefully we'll have time to also put it into this one if you do want to change the diff in your e36 uh, there is a really cool tutorial that we made the link will be in the description it will tell you all the steps in this video we're just going to do it go hard but if you want to learn how to do it click on that link player Okay, that's, don't tell Brad I dropped this stuff. <laughs> hey Brad. That doesn't sound good. That's good. All good, it's out. Look at this. Open for days. So open. Only a few tools needed to remove a diff. We're getting absolutely eaten out here. Thanks, Brad. Are you sunbathing, bro? What's going on? Lapping it, it, oh, it up, I don't want to get man. any runs, bro. Lapping it up. The what? Fully snapped. Broken. That's less than ideal. Broken. So corroded. UK cars. I feel sorry for people who live in the UK. Cars are so rusty. So how many bolts have we undone so far? JD. you <laughs> behind the camera. JD, you don't know what it's like to have a UK car. Okay. And if you don't know, then now you know. No. If you don't know, now you know, player. The S4 has blown a, a fuffy valve. It's a very technical term. What happened? Um, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll head over quick and have a wee look. Alright, all good, see ya. Brad, what happened? Um, Kez and Rue were boosting the S4 and something went poof, <laughs> and now it won't run. We should probably pop down for. Okay. Five minutes and see if we can help them. We're on our way uh, to go save the day, or well, save the night in this case. Nathan, oh, there they are. We, we got two it. bolts off, and then our friends down the road break down, so we've got to help them, you know? Yeah, I know. It's so hot, I don't want to go yeah, prodding anything. No, I wouldn't. Should I start it up and um, show you guys? Or? Yeah, it just yeah. chokes. Yeah. Turn it over. Be just probably like a, what if it's like an intercooler hose or something? That's, that's what I'm off. figuring, but I can see the two tops, the two top pipes are done. Still run oh, uh, nah, so then these go down there, okay. those are all done up, but it's underneath. I can't, the skid pans in the way. The problem is, we can't really see anything until we take the plastic tray off okay. underneath the car. Um, um, yeah, so like cool. surely we can take this off and just. And we can't so really low. do that because it's quite low, <coughs> so we need to jack it up. So we might tow it Just home. Good. So guys, we were happily doing the diff 
but the mighty S4 is given out. We think it's a vacuum leak. Try to limp it to Ruben's house, but it's just not going to go. Give it a bit of clutch and it stalls, so we're going to give it a bash. Try tow it with a 3 to 8. See how this goes. Right, we are towing the Audi at the moment. Peace out. BMW coming to a rescue. All right, guys, we got the car home. We got it home. Jenny's dead. Jenny's dead. Bro, what are you up to? Bro, it's a tough job, Ben. Bro. Audis aren't light. See these scrape marks? These are from the exhaust hanging so low. Oh my gosh. Naked. The funny thing is, the owner of this car isn't even here. He ditched. Karen, you Set. owe us a massive feed. Oh, pest control. Oh, control. It's your local. Wait, wait for it, wait for it, come here, wait for it. It's your, oh, they didn't say it. Not a real hammer hardware advertisement, they didn't say. It's your local. Right, see you, mate. Shout out to Aeroguard, tropical strength, mosquito palant. We out here. We're not getting but you know how it is. Got to spray up. Pop short. Oh man, this is running out. JD, do you want him? No, nah, but I'm sweet. Yo, last night was a little bit of a shambles, as you've just seen. But we're going to try again tonight and get some stuff done. Put the spanner on the drive shaft bolt. You grab your friend's foot, put it against the spanner. All right, mate, you ready? You ready? There we go. Easy as that. And then I'll continue to pull it off. Push it back in a bit. Oh, it's a whopper! We're going to see hey. if it's LSD now. Here we go. It's LSD. Is it? Yeah. Try and move the flanges. Oh. Nice. Should we crack it open? Yeah. <laughs> Punch you in the face. How oh. come we have two extensions on there? <laughs> We've got like one little short one and one massive ass one. All right, that's us for tonight. Time for Carl's Jr. So we are back at Brad's house. Hey, Brad. Hey. What are we doing, Nathan? Oh, we're putting this diff, the LSD that we took out of the red E36. We're going to put that in the track car. And we've also got an exhaust system because um, we didn't have one of those. And that's one of the reasons why we couldn't drive it. We're going to put that in there too. Hopefully, all going to plan, we'll get it on the road. Go for a drive. Today. Go for a drive. You. Oh, the reason why we decided to change the bonnets is because this is the old one. It looks like poo. Um, and this is the new one. And it looks like blue. Ah! Nah, it looks way better, honestly. <laughs> That's like, what do you I'm say so about that, happy. Brad? Honestly, that is just rubbish. Yeah. Yeah, what is that like? That's Matt Pro. Matt the store of Oh, it's like coming off. It's oh, still wow. happening. It's still happening. It's like glad wrap. Gosh. Just like, yeah, keep coming. Keep coming. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right, right there. Just put one more in. Oh, Are you getting tired, JD? No. Oh, it looks like I have to go. Sorry, bro. No problem. All right, so this is your washer pump, and that goes in there. Put your water in there. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to snip that, use this connection, and then that feeds into the existing one. So we'll do that now. Easy. Do you know what really makes a track car? When you take the rocker cover off so you can see the coil packs. That's Whoa. what makes a track car. Well, that's not the rocker cover, it's rocker cover cover. The rocker cover cover 
You take that off. Look at that. Yep, the engine's still in there. We have the differential in the car. We are now just tightening up the half shaft. Um, but yeah, it's all coming together, isn't it, Brad? Yep, yeah, it's getting there. The diff is in. Um, I came over with pizza and they finished it off, which was mean. And I've just put the steering wheel in, which is very good. It's a little bit dark in here, apologize for that. So the track car is very close to being on the road. Very close. Like super, super close. Like, like one exhaust away close. Scared. What? So just a couple of things left to do on the track car before we drive it. Nathan, walk us through. We're doing the, the exhaust. Boys, the boys, these two, JD and Brad, they just had their like third dinner. Now we've got the exhaust here, which needs to go on. So it's pretty much just bolt the uh, midsection onto the headers, then exhaust hangers here, bolt the flanges on there to the rear section. And then the hangers at the back and shaka bro, holla at your boy, you have an exhaust on your car. Brad, up to G. Since when do you build boats? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, that's not gonna hold. What are you doing? Oh, I need to grab what? that clamp. <laughs> what are you doing? It's <laughs> not gonna work. Well, normally you can cross them, but there's can not enough this room. Can I on them one? <laughs> Tires flat. It Just was all a dream. Gotta use the force, bro. Gotta use the force. Shady, can you actually wait? <laughs> this is actually really heavy. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Is that good? Have we got it? Yeah, I actually reckon I've done it. We have a G clamp, yo! Yo! But no exhaust. Not yet. Not yet. Yes! <laughs> we did it! We got the G clamp off without the outboard motor falling hang, down. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna show you how dodgy this is. Look at what I did! I latched over there and around <laughs> and I hooked it to this motor so they're pulling against each other. That's, that's amazing. The exhaust is on. The car's getting dropped down. And then we are going to take this thing for a drive. We are jumping the uh, track car. Now is the first startup. It's time. It's going to have such a mean exhaust leak. Come on. It works. It works. High five. High five light man. Thanks JD. We had to jump it with the other one, which is great. How do you feel? I don't know. It doesn't sound great. <laughs> it's all very exciting, all of this. It's running. It's running. We're just moving the last of the cars out of the way, and then we will be driving this. Bradley is on his phone telling all his friends. Texting the missus. And telling her how excited he is. I'm very excited. Bradley's very much taken. As for JD and I, we're single Pringles out here ready to mingle. Single Pringles ready to mingle, man. Come on, man. All you ladies watching those car dudes, you know There's about 5% like, of you. Like, share, and subscribe. I think about 5% of our viewers are female, so. What's up, 5%? Oh. 5%. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. The real question everyone wants to know is does it move? You guys, yeah, you good? Yeah, 
JD, are you as excited as I am? So excited, let's do this. First drive, Brad, how do you feel? Nervous. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. JD has generously let me go with the camera first off because we have no back seat and uh, safety first kids. So, um, Nathan. Thank you, JD. Can't yep. drive with that light in my Sorry, face. Sorry, bro. bro. I'll turn it down. Is that better? Yeah. Sweet. Well, actually, no, I still can't drive with that right, light in okay. my face. Okay, alright. You can hear a lot of noise. It's a good time. Electric windows are working. Shout out to JD, what a legend. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn off the light now so Brad can see better. Oh, it sounds so race car. <laughs> hey, well, we converted it, all right? driving. We did. So much hot air coming through the tunnel, eh? This is mean. This is so mean. It's actually so sick. We we have to open the windows because um the exhaust fumes, the exhaust is leaking. Um, we did coming up through the tunnel. She definitely goes. a lot lighter but we've stripped a lot of weight this is me this is so <laughs> mean sound. like that's not good but it sounds cool it sounds mean eh warning light surprisingly quite quick <laughs> the uh, weight reduction definitely makes a difference I hope you guys enjoyed that the track car is running yes high five we are so excited oh wow oh, all <laughs> but we're pretty shattered aren't we nothing we're gonna go nice. get lime shakes at McDonald's and um, to celebrate but we are so stoked with track car build so far what do the people need to watching? Uh, what do the people watching need to do, JD? They need to like, subscribe. They need to share. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Don't get a twisted player. And make sure you follow us on Instagram. Anything to say, Brad? Oh, just in love with my car, eh? Man, it's amazing. Happy to drive it. Very yeah. cool. Very noisy <laughs> and hard. very much in need of coilovers. We will get there one day. All right, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Peace out. There's heaps of G clamps at your house. Bro, I'm a G, what can I say? I like to so, clamp. Uh, well, I think we're gonna have to go to your house, bruh.